Hello everyone and welcome back. We are still on the Rapid API and we covered getting a tenant by testing this endpoint. We got the tenant. We also activated our Wix uh, adapter and now we are going to add a new schema. So just click on this new schema. It's car schema and just test endpoint. This is the schema gets added then just to make sure it's added we can search the schema yes it's added and we have all the fields registered now we just need to get the data in and so under the data click add data and that's it we added the data let's search how many cars we have I've been clicking on left and right so we got three three cars so far so they are all here and so this is uh, the end of the rapid configuration and we're done here we added a, a three cars and now we're gonna go to our Wix site website and create a collection so now we are here on the Wix site this was a site we created I'm going to click edit it's going to load this predefined template and all the pages straight to the databases under content collections click add a in plus sign and add external collections once you have that we're gonna call them cars and we looked at this we this is uh, our endpoint now this endpoint is different than rapid api endpoint because we cannot use rapid api endpoint because rapid api requires uh, headers security headers sent and uh, to it and unfortunately in this version of wix we they're not letting us sending uh, any headers not from this screen at least yeah, if you are using javascript code yeah you can send it definitely but not from this screen and but that's I don't know if you know then uh, please let me know but the process will be the same so this is the JSON we created configuration JSON this is our tenant that we just uh, created uh, in Yardy Low using rapid API and just once we have these three things just click add and if you see white screen that's great that means it accepted it and you don't see any error at the end of here now it's fetching our cars the data so now we get these three cars here so let's see if the images are loaded properly oh that's beautiful so we got three cars images are loaded properly um, so this is how it looks this is our collection from our own Mang mongo deep database so i'm going to close this let's see how quickly uh, we can use this external data to populate the list of cars so they're already here so I worked on it uh, so what you have to do is select here click create the data set from here so let me do this real quick. so I'm gonna delete this go back this was how it was originally create a data set get the data set called car create the new data set image source if uh, connected to the image because of the type it that's the only thing that's gonna suggest then let's title is make and model we don't have the link so let's leave it that way save it and but you can already see uh, these three cars are already loaded so I'm just gonna go preview and that's that's about it we got all three cars so if I want to load the fourth one that's what I wanted to try so let's try that okay so let's get out of the editor here because I noticed that if you refresh it it takes you out of editor anyway so we have three cars we're gonna add another one so we're gonna go back to rapid API data add another car so let's try adding a Tesla this time Tesla 
model X. You can have that. And here is the image. Let's let's see if this image loads. So we're gonna create another car here. Tesla. So it's registered. Just look at the data. We should see our newly added Tesla as item number four, uh, which is right here. So this is a new car, and I don't see fields here. And the make is Tesla. So that's it. So let's go back to Wix editor here and simply click preview. And we have it. We have Tesla now. So we added brand new Tesla here. So this concludes our video. This is how you can bring external data into the Wix without having to code.